hello everyone in this video we talk about growth and development as in chapter 3 there is learner and learning process so in this video we talk uh, about growth and development with, which is the first topic of learner and learning process okay chapter 3 now we see the introduction of growth so what is growth it refers to those changes in an individual which are noticed physically or the quantitative changes in the body so what is the meaning of the sentence so what is growth growth is physical change it is quantitative change what is physical change physical change is change in body height weight shape these all are physical change and quantitative change is what the thing which is measurable is called quantitative change so growth we measure our growth so this is quantitative change grow and grow growth refers to structural and physiological changes so what is the meaning of structural and physiological changes here structural changes means change in what height weight means all the thing which is changing from structure like when we say small child his height is uh, small but after some time when he start growing what happened his height is increases so what happened his height weight all thing is changing when he grow so this is change in the structure and what is physiological change Physi physiological change means the change which occur inside our body internal parts of body like we see our hand increases if our hand increases what happened our bones our muscle this all thing is increases so crow and crow said that growth refers to structural and physiological changes okay understood now her lock according to her lock growth is what growth is change in size in proportion disappearance of old feature and acquisition of new ones what is the meaning of this sentence this sentence we understand by taking some example like take, like we take the example that when the child is very small he his milk this is uh, he has milk teeth but after some time what happened his milk teeth will disappear okay and his permanent teeth he acquired permanent teeth after some time so what Harlock say growth is change in size in proportion disappearance of old vision means disappearance of milk teeth and acquisition of new ones means acquisition of permanent teeth understood so Harlock said that disappearance of old feature and acquisition of new ones is growth so what we understand from this topic we understand that what is growth and now we see what is development development is what development is quantitative as well as qualitative changes occur in human body okay like we see we measure growth so growth is what quantitative and what what is development we measure development so it is quantitative also and it is qualitative also means development involve all aspects like physical mental intellectual this all aspects involved in development so that's why development is both it is measurable also and it involves every aspects of life so it is quantitative also and it is qualitative also development is continuous process it never ends it is, starts from a mother mother left and it ends to uh, death okay so this is development it is continuous but what is growth growth is stop at some uh, maturity level growth stop like ever you saying that 40 years uh, people height will increase no so this is what growth growth is stop at certain stage certain time certain age but development never stop like your thinking ability never stop it always it always increases so this is development but your height stop like your weight stop so this is the, uh, growth so this is the difference between growth and development now we see according to her look what 
what is development a progressive series of change that occur in an orderly predictable pattern as a result of maturation and experience what is the meaning of progressive series of change means we see that everything is happen in this universe is in sequence orderly predictable sequence okay so everything is in sequence we study in sequence like uh, we prepare for nd net grf exam so there also we st uh, we uh, start our preparation by sequence wise no so first chapter second chapter like so development is like that only it is orderly pat predictable pattern like yesterday we see the process of learning okay so what is learning process it is also what it is a Uh, pattern it follow pattern predictable pattern so development is always orderly predictable pattern as a result of maturation experience means we always learn from our experience we always uh, learn from experience like we see the uh, small child he don't know how to eat from a spoon but by seeing his elders he started eating from a spoon and by uh, every day in day to day life he no he experience he gain experience so this is experience and we learn from our experience in our day to life we always uh, take experience like in nt net grf exam also we uh, give mock test and when we give mock test we prepare ourselves for main exam so we by uh, giving mock test we experience okay experience the main exam so this is experience and this is development so development is what it is order really predictable pattern also it is maturation also when you get experience you matured okay like when you uh, get experience of mock test what happen you matured and your uh, you uh, your exam will be good so this is maturation and experience ki without experience and maturation development does not occur and it is orderly predictable uh, pattern okay now we see types of development so what happened we uh, talk about that there is many types of development like uh, growth is what growth is stop at maturity level but development never stop it continues it involves overall aspects so what is types of development first type of development is physical development so what is physical development the development which appear from outside like height weight sexual appearance of the uh, adolescent person change in voice like male voice is different female male voice is different this is all what this is all physical development now what is it intellectual development intellectual development is what intellectual development is development of mind development of cognitive power development of problem solving skill development of think development of thinking power development of imagination what happen when you see a small child he don't know how to solve uh, 2 plus 3 or uh, 2 plus 4 he don't know but when his uh, he increases uh, his class he know how to solve this problem so what happen when age increases what happen his thinking power increases his problem solving skill is increases this all thing increases the thing which increase for mind is called intellectual development and intellectual development increase perception power uh, thinking skills this all thing is called intellectual development now we see what is emotional development emotional development is that in which development of feeling Th okay in every step there is always we develop our feeling so this is what this is emotional development now what is social development social development is what it is interaction among society we should have to live in our society so we should know how to interact with people if we don't we don't know that how to interact people we are not able to live in society so always a, a small child we advise to learn in collaborative learning peer learning so what is this when is a child when ch a child learn in collaborative learning what happen he a uh, talk to in group so what happen ki his collaborative power in increases cooperative power increases interaction power increases so social interaction is very necessary and it is a, it is very necessary to develop in child it is very necessary to develop in person each and every person so uh, 
so according to Vygotsky theory also in uh, we see that uh, there is social development Vygotsky theory talk about social development ki without social development child can't learn so it is very important to uh, study uh, in a social development environment so this is called social development in which we increase the interaction power of child now what is in moral development moral development is what is right and what is wrong like we see ki a small child uh, learn ki how to steal something but when teacher uh, says to child that uh, stealing is bad habit then he understand that this is bad habit so that is bad habit and some thing like good habit that you should have to come uh, in school at right time so chi child acquire that uh, thing and he reaches the school at 9 pm or 10 pm that which is the timing of a school so that is a good character so moral development it is, is what it is good character and bad character it is both so child understand what is good and what is bad so this is what this is moral development so development involves many aspects this all aspects involve and, and more than this also physical um, types of development so you understand types of development now we'll talk about the difference between growth and development so what is growth growth is what growth is physical changes in the organism like change in height shape all thing is physical change in organism growth stop at certain period of time uh, life like growth stop like your height uh, stop at which is age after 18 years your height will not increase mostly we see that so this is what growth stop at maturity level when you reach your maturity level what happens and growth stop understood then growth is quantitative aspect this means growth is what it is quite it is measurable like your height is measurable you can measure your weight also like 2 kg a small child is 2 kg and you are now 45 kg this is what you can you easily measure this thing now so growth is quantitative aspects and growth can be measured like we see measurable quantitative also so it is measurable also okay now this is about growth growth continues um, growth does not continue till uh, end of the life growth stop at certain position growth stop at certain time so growth uh, and growth does not affect learning also okay growth does not affect learning but development affects learning understood like now we see the development what is development what is difference between development and growth development overall and progressive changes in the organism like physical development mental development intellectual development moral development social development this all are what overall development and progressive changes all the changes occur in organism it never stop it continues continues and continues okay this is the, uh, development development is quantitative and qualitative aspects also but but uh, growth is what it is quantitative aspects only development continues till death but growth cannot continue till death it is stop at some level it can only be assessed means development can be assessed but growth is measured understood we can only uh, measure growth but development can be assessed like how development can be assessed like we see intellectual development okay so intellectual development uh, by taking example of intellectual development what we see that a small child uh, like uh, if we want to uh, compare two child that one child is talented and one child is less talented so how we compare we take some test and there uh, by taking uh, by judging uh, scores we see uh, we see that who which one one is talented and which one is less talented so development is what it is assessed assessed means checked okay so according to uh, intellectual development it is also assessed but growth is not assessed it is only measurable so this all are about growth and development now my topic is completed okay thank